gonna be my best one yet. That's moving forward already. Just got a big boost. Promise me that he won't be walking into something dangerous. How dare you throw my daughter's murder in my face. By all means, son, you lecture me on proper wedding etiquette. General Hospital latest update, Anna confronts Carly's blunder, wedding drama unfolds. In the next two weeks of General Hospital, tensions rise as Anna blasts Carly for her reckless actions, jeopardizing the investigation. Meanwhile, wedding festivities take center stage, but surprises abound as Jason catches everyone off guard. Jocelyn sparks chemistry with a charming newcomer, igniting Dex's jealousy. Plus, Heather's unexpected remorse leaves Laura questioning her sincerity. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, after watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. General Hospital, Sunny's Dangerous Side, Jason's Big Surprise, Dinner Date Games and Wedding Festivities. General Hospital spoilers for the next two weeks, May 13th to May 24th, reveal that Anna Devane and Finola Hughes will blast Carly Spencer, Laura Wright, for visiting Jack Brennan, Charles Measure, and making the investigation harder with her loose lips. Later during the week of May 13th to 17th, Anna will have that dinner she promised Valentine Cassidine, James Patrick Stewart, so that'll bring a bit of a cat and mouse game. Valentine and Anna will manipulate each other as they both work to gain the upper hand. Over with Drew Kane, Cameron Matheson, he'll make a suggestion that ends up helping Nina Reeves, Cynthia Watrose, make more progress with Willow Corinthos, Caitlin McMullen. Of course, Ava Jerome, Maura West, certainly won't make any progress when it comes to her own relationship with Nina, who'll set some firm boundaries and reject any chance of patching things up. Back with Drew, he'll react to a business proposal while Danny Morgan, Asher Antonison, delivers a special request to Jason Morgan, Steve Burton. Will Danny want his dad to attend Brooklyn Cordemain, Amanda Seton, and Harrison Chase's, Josh Swickard, wedding or will he ask for something else? Jason will catch everyone off guard according to General Hospital spoilers, so we'll see if he dons a suit and shows up on the big day. Christina Corinthos Davis, Kate Monsey, and Blaze aka Allison Rogers, Jacqueline Grace Lopez, will also get a shock when they see Natalia Ramirez, Eva LaRue, walk in on Sonny Corinthos, Maurice Bernard, arm. Before Brooke Lynn ties the knot, Tracy Cordemain, Jane Elliott, will offer up a family heirloom that used to belong to Lila Cordemain, Anna Lee. Brooke Lynn will eventually join Chase for their ceremony, which will include a performance from her violinist cousin, Giovanni Gio Cerullo, Giovanni Mazza. Jocelyn Jack's Eden McCoy will have a chance to meet Gio, so Dex Heller, Evan Hofer, might spy their flirty encounter and feel some jealousy bubble up. When it's time for Gregory Chase, Gregory Harrison, to serve as officiant, he'll hit some snags. Gregory may have a hard time getting all the words out, but Brooke Lynn and Chase will still have a beautiful ceremony as they say their vows. Afterward, Chase and Brooke Lynn's reception will get underway, so that'll serve as a chance to keep the celebration going after they tie the knot. Hamilton Finn, Michael Easton, will worry about Gregory overdoing it and may try to convince him to rest at some point during all the fun. Back with Christina, she'll see another version of Sunny, perhaps one that she doesn't like. It's easy to see Sunny cornering Dex during the festivities and delivering some threats while Christina's within earshot. Other General Hospital spoilers say Sam McCall, Kelly Monaco, will turn to Damian Spinelli, Bradford Anderson, for assistance and plot to get Jason out of the FBI mess that he's stuck in. During the week of May 20th to 24th, Lane Davies will make his first appearance in the role of Fergus Byrne. Since Fergus and Neil Byrne, Joe Flanagan, were siblings, Fergus wound up recusing himself during all the previous disbarment drama. However, Fergus' law partner replaced him on the committee, so Diane Miller, Carolyn Hennessy, may use that shady move as part of her quest to get Alexis Davis's, Nancy Lee Gron, law license reinstated. The hearing is coming up in Albany, so Alexis will hold out hope that she's on the road to becoming an attorney again. As for Gregory, he seems poised to take another turn for the worse. Without the wedding as a goal to work toward, Gregory may decline rapidly and leave both his sons quite concerned. Finally, Sonny may experience a decline of his own as his altered meds continue to take a toll on him. That could lead to Sonny's wild outbursts and some other increasingly disturbing behavior. 
How long will Ava Jerome, Mora West, let this go on? Will Valentine realize Ava is poking around for answers and have to do something about it? General Hospital spoilers for the next two weeks point to some shocking news and heated confrontations, so stick with us for more predictions on all the chaos. Today's next update, Jocelyn and Geo Sparks fly, Jealous Dex sees hot chemistry. General Hospital spoilers reveal that Jocelyn Jack's Eden McCoy will attend Brooklyn Cordemain, Amanda Seton, and Harrison Chase's Josh Swickard wedding, so that'll give her a chance to meet an attractive new face. Giovanni Mazza will make his debut in the role of Giovanni Gio Cerullo during the week of May 13th to 17th, so Jocelyn will meet Brooklyn's cousin and perhaps hit it off with him right away. Gio is a brilliant violinist who'll be performing at the nuptials, so that'll give Jocelyn something to talk to him about. It's easy to imagine Jocelyn complimenting Gio on his skills and perhaps asking how long he's been playing. Whatever the case, General Hospital spoilers indicate Jocelyn will exchange introductions with Gio and give him a warm welcome to Port Charles. It sounds like there could be some flying sparks, so maybe Gio and Jocelyn have potential as a hot new couple. Regardless, there's a good chance Dex Heller, Evan Hofer, will worry that things are headed in that direction. Dex told Anna Devane, Fanola Hughes, that Chase invited him to the wedding, so we should keep that news in mind. There's honestly no reason for Dex to be in attendance if he doesn't witness this new chemistry on display between Jocelyn and Gio. That's probably the whole point of Chase urging Dex to come to the event. Of course, there's no guarantee that Gio will be the new man in Jocelyn's life. It could be a situation where Gio gives Dex the jealous jolt he needs to step up and truly fight for Jocelyn. On the other hand, Dex may wait too late and let Jocelyn develop real feelings for Gio if he hangs around over the summer. That could create a love triangle or even a love quad if Trina Robinson, Tabiana Ali, gets thrown in the mix. Our predictions point to some messy romantic dilemmas soon, so stick with us for updates on what's coming up. General Hospital spoilers say Gio will be quite the charmer, so Dex certainly isn't going to like it when he sees some potential flirting with Joss going on. Today's next update, is Heather truly sorry for her sins, or is Laura being snowed? General Hospital spoilers report Heather Weber and Allie Mills seem to be grieving deeply over the loss of Esme Prince Avery Kristen Pohl and her inability to have intervened early enough in Esme's life to have made a difference in her final days. Furthermore, she hates that she will have no relationship with her grandson, Ace Cassidine, Jay and Joey Clay. Laura Collins, Jeannie Francis, felt empathy for her old friend, watching her struggle to also make peace with the horrible things she has done to so many people. General Hospital spoilers, Heather Weber knows she may have a shot at turning things around. She can't bring back the lives she claimed as the hook killer while she was suffering from cobalt poisoning. But at the same time, Kevin Collins, John Lindstrom, is correct that there is no way to know for sure that Heather's behavior was entirely ruled by her medical condition and not at all what she would have done even if she hadn't been poisoned via metallosis. Still, Heather knows she may have a shot at turning things around for herself. Is she just milking the opportunity to get Laura on her side and push for some kind of reconsideration of her sentence? Or is Heather truly reeling from processing the truth of what she has done? General Hospital spoilers, her grief seemed real. If Heather was feigning her concern for the families of her victims, she's a better actress than anyone ever knew. One might think Laura would be one of the first people to call her out for trying to scam her, or at least doubt her sincerity, but she walked away from Pendenville feeling like she had just spent time with the old Heather she once knew and loved. Kevin didn't doubt for a moment that Laura knew what she was talking about either, which isn't entirely on par for Laura, and that needs to be said. General Hospital spoilers, Squeal Heather Weber is not just a murderer. Her more recent venture into being a crazed killer was something rather spontaneous, but let's not forget that Heather was no angel before she started wielding that hook. While she may have been suffering from this poisoning for years, and it may remain impossible to know where the real Heather ended and the poison one began, there is also no telling whether she's just playing this to her advantage now. Regardless, Heather was always a bit off. Her odd character evolved over the years into something more dangerous at times. She subjected her own children to harm. She was willing to harm the men in her life just to try to keep them. General Hospital Spoilers, Laura Collins may be the most naive person in Port Chuck. 
To be fair, Laura has a history of this. She loves to fight for the underdog. But she's also been misled by many people in her life over the years. In most cases, she was fooled by someone she cared about into believing they were a better person than they were. She has trusted that people who committed horrific acts did nothing wrong, and even went to bat for some of them, convinced she was right. Remarkably, no matter how many times Laura gets duped, she doesn't really learn from her mistakes. So, is Heather just playing her like a fiddle this time around and Laura steps up to the plate to try to get her old friend out of prison? Thanks for watching this videos, please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.